Oh, 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 hey, hey guys. So, uh, unfortunately, this is not real. And then from what I can tell, this wine went a little flat. But uh, no, seriously, what we're gonna show you here today is how to take a piece of acrylic. This has been a cut out piece of acrylic and we're gonna print it second surface. So it's actually on the back, reverse the image, printed the white behind that, get a real pop to it, nice and shiny on the front. And uh, just another cool thing you could do, you could sell it to restaurants, bars, uh, even liquor stores, something like that, or, or a gift for a friend. But let's show you how we did it and uh, find another way to make some money with our compressed UV printer. So we have the acrylic wine bottle setting up here on the bed. We've removed the protective paper. We're actually gonna do a second surface print. So we're actually gonna print the color down first and then the white, we've mirrored the image. It's loading in right now. Let's send the job over. So you can see right now, it's, uh, as it prints emerging, what you see is white. That's because what we did is we reversed the color layer and now we're putting a back white print on the back of it so that when you look at it from the front, you'll be able to see the colors. There we go, beautiful. What do you think of our wine bottle? Now let's go ahead and peel this off so we can see. I may have to get assistance from the monkeys here to help me uh, pull off, there we go. There you have it. This is a, uh, looks like an eighth inch acrylic was a, uh, appears to have been cut with a, uh, a rotary type of uh, engraver. You could also have laser cut this out. And then what we did is we back printed it, it's what's called second surface printing. And then we backed that up with white so that the colors show and pop pretty well. Um, don't know what it would cost to have this acrylic like this done, but if you've got your own machine, you maybe have two and a half, three dollars into this. And we had about $5.25 worth of ink into it. If you're doing a lot of these, I might even be inclined to actually just print the color and then spray paint the back with white. It'd be a little bit quicker and a little bit less expensive. But if you're doing one-offs, this is a good way to do it. A great way you could set this up for a restaurant, for a specific wine release, or if you get somebody who has their own bar at their house and you want to put their name on it, give it to them as a gift or something like that as well. So just a, another way you can use your printer. Take advantage of the size. Because of the size of this, this is about a 32 inch tall bottle of wine, about the right size for Hannah for a typical weekend. And uh, it's, a, it's just a cool way to, to uh, use your printer in different ways. Love the second surface printing. Really gives you a great pop and then easy to wipe off and it doesn't, you don't have to worry about it getting dirty. I'm Don Copeland and uh, drinking some big wine. <laughs>